Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, I hope you guys are having such a great day. It is a beautiful morning where I am, the sun is shining, the sun is out. I just woke up in such a good mood and I was guided to come on here to pull an oracle card with you guys, burn bay leaves, set our affirmation for the day and just go ahead and have a beautiful day. I have my coffee here, first thing I have in the morning is my coffee, I can't do without my coffee so Excuse me, I have to take a sip. Oh, that feels so good. Feels wonderful. Okay, my Oracle cards is the Isis Oracle that we're pulling from. It's a new deck that I just purchased off Amazon. I am in love with it. I have to get used to it because I haven't used it as much, but I thought about why not use her, this her today. Well, yeah, use her today, my Oracle cards, and just whatever message comes forth. It's for us to start our day and just, you know, indulge in positive vibes and positive energy that's been sent to us. All right. Your mind is a powerful thing. If you wake up each morning, being grateful, giving gratitude and just being positive, things will start to shift and change in your life. Okay. So it is a new deck. It's kind of sticky, but let's hope we get the message that we want. And that we need just to start our day all right let's go i have my book with me as well because like i said it's a new deck but i do read intuitively i read off of my intuition i don't necessarily go by what the book says or anything else i just take a look at the picture and whatever comes to mind i just go ahead and read it Whatever message that I pick up during my during this, I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. All right, so I picked up. I hope you guys can see this. Magic and ritual. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so I'm guided by this message today. Magic and ritual. Such a beautiful card. Take a look at this card. Look at all the details on this card. Such and such a beautiful card. I'm gonna rest it here. Put it a lot closer so you guys can see the detail on this card. I just love this deck. It's such a beautiful deck. All the detail, all the artwork that they put into this deck is so beautiful. Okay, so magic and ritual. Hmm. Let me see what that means. What can I pick up from magic and ritual? Well, basically it's saying to use your intuition and be, you know, magic and ritual. Wow. This article um, is guiding us and the guidance that we do have great power and wisdom within us. Okay, whatever you want to manifest, whatever we want to come forth, we're the one that makes that happen. The magic is within us. The power is within us. We need to let go of our ego. Sometimes we let the ego rule us so much that we are overwhelmed. And that is the ego. Okay. We need to let go of the ego. It's easy said than done, but whatever you feel fair or you feel separation or you feel anxiety, that's your ego that's taking over. The best way how to let go of the ego is say, okay, ego, I acknowledge you, but I need to let you go for this moment because I want to be still and just involved within my power and my magic. Okay? Then you say, go ahead and have fun. Go elsewhere for now. Leave me alone. It's okay to tell your ego to leave you alone. Okay? Ritual magic, it says to me that we ourselves need to form a sacred practice. Whatever it is that is sacred to you. For me, it's burning bay leaves and pulling an oracle card every day. I try to at least pull an oracle card to guide my day. But if I don't, I know for sure 
I am writing down some type of affirmation and burning that, okay? So it just calls for us to have a daily sacred practice, whatever that you feel that enlightens you, that keeps you within that higher vibration, okay? Have a sacred practice. Even if it's waking up and saying thank you three times, burning incense, burning a candle, whatever is sacred to you, it just calls for you to involve yourself in a sacred practice. It also recommends what I see for myself looking at a card is to form more spiritual presence in your waking life, okay? So <clears throat> spiritual, it can mean so many different things and so many different level, okay? But spiritual pr presence, just giving thanks, that is a spiritual presence. The sitting here and being still, meditating is a spiritual practice as well. Whatever spiritual practice is calling for you to involve more your spiritual practice in your waking life, okay? As well, like I said, we're not letting go of the ego, but sometimes we do need to heal and support our, our ego to learn to create a life that feels better and brings more joy and fulfillment in our life, okay? And that means if by building a spiritual practice, or by doing a spiritual ritual or magic each day, you will see that your ego will let go day by day and you become more involved, more fulfilled to create a life that you want. More still, okay? Less anxiety, more present with yourself and your higher self. When you feel good, other feels good around you, okay? And when you put yourself first and just involve some type of regular practice for yourself, you feel worthy, you feel good. I know for myself, when I wake up every morning and I give thanks and I burn my bay leaf or I burn a candle, I feel good within. And when you start to feel good within, it shines outwards, okay? Others around will start to notice a difference between what you were prior and what you are now. When you start to have a ritual or magical practice that you do daily, it becomes a ritual. And you can't go on your day without forming this type of ritual or without doing this type of magic. It just becomes a habit. And when things becomes a habit, it becomes, it's either a good habit or either it's a bad habit. Likewise, it's either a positive thing or a negative thing. So it's just, you know, teaching us and that sometimes in life we need to form a ritual or have a magic, you know, that's part of a spiritual practice, just having something magical to ourselves. If it's you love to meditate, spend five minutes each day meditating, meditating on being still, meditating on something that you want to manifest, meditating and just being here, just being present, okay? That's something that it's grateful for. Waking up, writing in your journal. Like I said, I love to write, so I always have a journal, something near me that I can write down, whatever comes to mind. And every morning when I wake up, I at least try to go into my journal, write down something that I'm grateful for. I strive to write down at least five things that I'm grateful for. If you're starting out, at least try to write down three things that you're grateful for. That will help you, okay? That was That's a ritual, that's magic, that's something so simple that all of us could do, but we don't consider it a ritual or magic, when in fact, it is a ritual magic. You're giving thanks to the universe. That's a part of your ritual. And once you do it every day, it becomes a spiritual practice, okay? Meditation as well. I know for some people, they say, oh, it's hard for me to meditate. I can't control my mind. If you're going to use the word, I can't, already you form that into your mind that I can't. Your subconscious already picked it up. I can't. Try, okay? It doesn't beat you trying. At least if you can do it for five minutes, you're on a roll. You're on a path. Five minutes? Damn, that is great. That's good. You know, do things that makes you feel good, okay? And feels good for you. Not something that you see somebody else doing. What feels good for you? Okay, that's how you start on a spiritual path and a ritual is do things that feel good for you. Not because you watch a YouTube video or Instagram and you saw somebody else lighting a candle and having herbs under a candle and they do this every single morning. You could go ahead and try it, okay? Because we all learn from each other. Go ahead and try it. If you feel good for you, 
continue doing it. Whatever feel good for you, okay? The feel good feelings, that what you want to strive for every single day. That what keeps you in a higher vibrational mode, okay? So whatever feels good for you, it's time for you to go ahead and do that. Let that flow into your life, okay? Into your physical life. Let it flow, okay? We all want to grow more spiritually. We all want to, want to connect to our higher self. We want to be in that higher vibrational mode. And by doing that, it's just by allowing. Sometimes we just need to allow things to unfold. Good things to unfold. And if you're practicing your ritual and your magic, like I said, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be something that you wake up every morning and you're like, oh God, I got to do this again. No, it's something that you feel good doing each day. And that becomes a ritual and that becomes your own sacred magic. Okay? Somebody else can't can't be you. You're here. We're all here. Okay? We're all here as spiritual beings having a human experience. So if we're all spiritual beings here having a human experience, bring out your spiritual side. That's part of magic. It's part of ritual. Every morning... If you're not a morning person, you like to do things at night, okay, do it at night. Every night, you have a ritual or practice that you want to do to bring out your spiritual sign, okay? Like I said, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It could be something so simple as lighting a candle, praying over the candle, sitting there, gazing at the candle. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't have to be elaborate. All right, guys, I think I rambled on enough. That's our message for today. It's a beautiful message. It just reminds us to just be still, to, you know, release whatever creative ideas, whatever ritual magic that we come here with. We're all, we come here with a gift, okay? And for us to figure out what that gift is and to utilize that gift, our spiritual gift, okay? And if it involves ritual and magic, like I said, ritual and magic could take on so many forms. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It could be something so simple. But it's sacred to you, and it's a practice for you, and it's a ritual to you. So we're going to burn today bay leaf, okay? Guided to burn today's bay leaf. We're going to write down our inner power, okay? That it's powerful. Our inner power. All of us have our inner power. We just have to acknowledge it. We just have to ask for it to shine. And trust me, the source universe will just let it shine. It will bring it out of you, okay? Our inner power. If you pick up a ritual every single day, your magic within you will shine, okay? It will definitely shine within you and others will start to see the difference as so yourself. If you wake up every day and say thank you and just give thanks for just being here, just having a present, just being here, you will see slowly and slowly your life will start to unfold and the positive things will start to surround you. you. Speak positive things, you practice a ritual, your life will change. If you wake up and you're negative, that's all what you will attract throughout the day, negativity, okay? You don't want to trap negativity. You want your life to just flow. Flow at ease. Don't we all? Just flow. But you got to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your magic, magic and just let it flow. The universe got your back. Remember that. The universe got your back. When you don't feel like doing something, when you don't feel like it, the universe got your back. All they need you to do is take that one step towards your inner power. All right, guys, let's go ahead and burn this and we call it a day, okay? This is such a beautiful message and I feel so privileged to come on here and share this message with you guys. It's such and such a beautiful message. If you guys made it this long in a video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video along with anybody out there. Remember, you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Bring out your spiritual side. Bring it out. Whatever ritual and practice that you love to do, just make it a habit of doing it every single day. That will bring out your inner power. And here we go for our affirmation for the day. We're going to burn this and let this out into the universe. And just go ahead 
and just having a beautiful, beautiful day, enjoying the rest of her day. All right. It did burn a little bit, but I wanted you guys to see it burning on camera, so I'm going to go ahead and relight this bay leaf. I love when it burns. There we go, guys. Watch it burn. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, so beautiful. Anyways, guys, such a beautiful message today. Look at this. Such a beautiful card. So detailed. Very, very pretty. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. I love you guys. Love yourself and love others. And I'll see you guys again for another video. Bye.